All right, good morning, everyone. I uh, just wanted to let you know uh, we started recording the webinar. Uh, we haven't officially started yet, uh, but we are recording today. So if anyone uh, doesn't want to be recorded, uh, you'll need to log off the meeting. All right, seeing as it's 10.01, I think we should go ahead and get started. Um, all right, good morning and welcome to the Office of Energy Infrastructure Safety's public meeting to consider adoption of proposed updates to the WMP compliance guidelines. My name is Patrick Doherty and I'm the Program Manager of the Compliance Assurance Division at Energy Safety. Joining me from the Compliance Assurance Division or Ida Ortiz, Wildfire Safety Engineer, and Hector Garcia, Senior Wildfire Safety Analyst. I'd like to take a moment to review the agenda for today's public meeting, but first we have a safety moment brought to you by Ida Ortiz. Thank you, Patrick. Good morning, everybody. For today's safety moment, we would like to remind everyone to be aware of their surroundings, including, including the nearest exit, exits and fire extinguishers. Ensure you have a comfortable and safe setup, especially if you will be spending ex uh, spending extended amounts of time at that location. And if you will be spending time outside, ensure you practice sun safety and stay hydrated. And with that, I will turn the meeting uh, back over to Patrick. Thank you, Ali. For today's meeting agenda, we will first be presenting the significant proposed changes to the compliance guidelines published in 2023. Then we will provide a summary of the written comments energy safety received, followed by an opportunity for members of the public to provide comments. Lastly, we will consider adoption of the updates to the compliance guidelines. Significant changes uh, from the 2023 version of the compliance guidelines include the addition of a deadline by which electrical corporations must have an executed contract with an independent evaluator, the addition of language regarding wildfire safety concerns or WSCs and related requirements for electrical corporations when they receive wildfire safety concerns from energy safety, Additional requirements for electrical corporations' responses to deficiencies identified as part of a substantial vegetation management audit. And finally, removal of requirements for annual reports on compliance prepared by energy safety. Uh, Ivey, would you like to provide a summary of the public comments received so far? Yes. Energy safety received comments from the California Association of Small and Multi-Jurisdictional Utilities, or CAM. CASMU, as well as from the uh, investor-owned utilities, which include Southern California Edison, Pacific Gas and Electric Company, and San Diego Gas and Electric Company. CASMU represents Bear Valley Electric Service, Inc., Liberty Utilities, LLC, and Pacific Core. Um, CASMU provided comments requesting energy safety allow electrical corporations to submit construction standards developed by other entities and also requested the deadline for executing a contract with an independent evaluator to be extended from 45 days to 90 days. Uh, the joint IOU submitted uh, comments as follows. They requested to reestablish the language included, included in previous versions pertaining to criteria energy safety uses to evaluate compliance with the WMP they requested to revise the definition of commitment uh, to clarify what constitutes satisfactory closure of a notice of violation or notice of defect, uh, to revise the requirements in the wildfire safety concerns section, revise the requirements for submitting construction standards, remove the requirements to report on 10-year objectives, revise the deadline for execution of a contract with an independent evaluator from 45 days to 60 days, clarify timelines for energy safety's completion of the substantial vegetation management audit and report, and to uh, revise the effective date of the WMP compliance guidelines from uh, adoption date to January 1st of 2025. All right, thank you, Ade. Uh, we will now be opening the meeting to receive comments from members of the public. Currently, all participants, cameras, and microphones are muted. Individuals wishing to provide comments must raise their hand. To raise your hand, click on Reactions, then click Raise Hand. Once it is your turn to speak, you will be prompted to unmute yourself. Individuals joining by telephone only who wish to speak can dial star 9 to raise their hand. And once it is your turn to speak, dial star 6 to unmute yourself. 
All right, so now we'll just give everyone some time to either raise their hand or dial star nine if they'd like to speak. All right, Nui, can I can I confirm I don't actually see any raised hands? There are no raised hands at the moment. Okay, and I, I don't think we have any participants that have uh, dialed in either, do we? Not that I see. Okay. All right. In that case, I'm assuming there are no further uh, oral public comments uh, to receive at this meeting. Uh, we will now move on to the portion of the meeting where we consider whether to adopt the proposed updates to the compliance guidelines. Energy Safety published the proposed updates to the compliance guidelines for a 30-day public comment period on June 5th, 2024. Comments were due July 5th, 2024. The document was distributed on the compliance guidelines docket through Energy Safety's e-filing system with service to the associated service list. Energy Safety then published the public meeting announcement on June 27th, 2024. Energy Safety has considered written comments on the proposed updates to the compliance guidelines. Energy Safety plans to make a limited number of changes to the proposed compliance guidelines in light of the comments received, and therefore does not adopt the proposed updates to the compliance guidelines at this time. Energy Safety will publish a revision to the proposed updates to the compliance guidelines incorporating these changes in the near future, and members of the public will have 30 days to comment on those changes only. After the new 30-day comment period expires, another public meeting will be held to consider adoption of the proposed updates to the compliance guidelines. Thank you for your participation in today's public meeting, and this meeting is adjourned.